Hi, I'm Bonnie Clark. I'm Director of Development at Greentown, and I'm joining you today to share about the Educational Improvement Tax Credit Program. That's also known as EITC and the program, the Opportunity Scholarship Tax Credit, which is OSTC. What are they? What are these programs? How can you be involved? I'm joined today by Sarah Sweeney Denham, our head of school, and four members of the Board of Trustees, Natalie Nagel, Scott Dietz, Tracy Dowling, and Alberta Brennan. Thank you so much for being with me today. Scott and Natalie and Tracy and Alberta all participate in EITC. So they're here to share about their experiences and how the program works, how it can benefit you as a taxpayer and benefit Greentown as an independent school that relies strongly on your help um, to make financial aid programs possible for our students. I'm gonna go around and have everyone quickly introduce themselves. Natalie, would you like to start? Uh, I am Natalie Nagel. I am the president of Greentown Board, and I have two kids, have one who today turned 11, so she's in fifth grade and went through Greentown's program for five years, and I have a kindergartner who is graduating this year from Greentown. I've been a trustee for, I don't know, five years, something like that, and we have been participants in EITC as a business uh, for four years. We've done four uh cycles of a two to year commitments. So EITC is one of my favorite programs and favorite ways to give at Greentown because it's a win win for the school and a win for our business. And so I'm excited to share a little bit about how we do it and why we love the program so much. Thank you so much, Natalie. Alberta, you Hi, also everyone. participate. Thank you. Uh, my name is Alberta Brennan. I have a son who graduated from Greentown uh, three years ago. And I have been involved on the Board of Trustees for the last six years at Greentown. I started participation in the EITC program about five years ago when I first heard of it. It was something that I had never heard before. And I was so excited to be able to use my tax dollars in the way that I wanted to use my tax dollars, which is to benefit a school that means so much to me and to my family. And so I hope that you will join us and um, become a participant in the EITC program. It has been an easy process and I think it's been very fruitful and beneficial for our school. Thank you, Alberta. Scott, would you like to go next? Sure, uh, I'm Scott Dietz. Um, my daughter Elsa uh, is now a sixth grader and she went through the program uh, for three years at Greentown. Uh, and we, we really love Greentown. We love how uh, Greentown um, her teaches young kids how to learn um, and to love learning. And I love supporting Greentown and we do that through EITC. I've been a trustee now for, this is my sixth year and I've used uh, the EITC program to funnel uh, the tax dollars that would normally go to the state and be used as the state uh, dictates. Uh, through this program, I get to uh, decide how those funds get used. They get to they go to work right at Greentown, providing financial aid to uh, folks who may not otherwise be able to um, attend Greentown. And, and I think that's just fabulous. I think that's a great way to use my tax dollars. Um, so um, I've done it three years. It is really easy. It may seem confusing, but uh, as Alberta, uh, Natalie, and Tracy will tell you, it's very easy to do. And I uh, would love to help. If you have any questions, uh, you can certainly reach out to me at some point in time. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Scott. And Tracy. Hello, uh, my name is Tracy Dowling. This is my fourth year on the Board of Trustees. I have a son, Sam, who graduated Greentown last year after going through the program. I have a daughter, Eve, who's there now, and I have another daughter who'll be joining in another year and a half or so. Um, love Greentown and find that both Montessori education and, and such an incredible early childhood experience have just been great building blocks um, for my kids, just setting them up for life. And my husband and I feel very strongly about trying to expand that, um, that incredible program to others. 
And so we have participated in EITC. This is our third year doing it. And um, and and like the others, we in, we participated as an individual, like Scott, I think, just said, as opposed to with a business. Um, again, after getting over a little bit of figuring out the accounting, um, it's been an easy program and, and just makes such an impact on the school. So we're so happy and proud to be a part of this group, making our tax dollars go further for some place we care about so much. Thank you so much. We are so honored not just by your service to our school, but by your commitment to EITC and everything that's possible for the students because of your support. So thank you. We're going to walk through the steps of what it means to be a participant, how to do so, and the impact for you and for the school as a business and an individual. Greentown is an approved scholarship organization through the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development. It's also known as PADCED. So Greentown is a pre-K scholarship organization and a scholarship organization, which is a program that we qualify through as a kindergarten school. Basically, each year as a school, we apply to the state to be eligible to receive your support, either as a business or an individual, to the EITC program or the OSTC program. Um, this all goes to financial aid, to need-based financial aid for qualified students at Greentown and we qualify each year to be able to do so. Um, Sarah, I'm thrilled to have you share about really that, what that means for Greentown, for our financial aid program and the impact on our students. Absolutely, thank you, Bonnie. Um, this is an extremely exciting and important program uh, for Greentown and uh, goes really back to our very beginnings. So um, Greentown Montessori was founded by families that lived right in this neighborhood who wanted an alternative uh, early education for their children. And uh, these are families that are committed to living in the city, to raising their children in the city, and they wanted a program um, that reflected the city that they live in. So from the very beginning of Greentown, um, the school has offered financial aid, which uh, was and in some cases still is very unusual for the early childhood level. Um, but it was uh, a very important part of our founders vision for what Greentown would become. So we're really proud of that legacy of being able to provide financial support to young families and to make it possible for them to have this incredible learning experience at the most formative time in children's lives. Um, we are setting the foundation for all that is to follow. So Greentown as a school has made that commitment um, since its founding. And uh, it's part of our operating budget every year is to support uh, families in need to make it possible for them to uh, experience Greentown for their children. And um, the EITC and OSTC programs support us in doing just that. So it allows us uh, to make it more accessible, pr provide access to more families uh, who are in need for whom uh, it otherwise would not be possible um, to, to send their children to brain time. Um, we have a program that relies on high uh, level of uh, specialized training our teachers all uh, go through the Montessori accreditation training and also uh, really high quality materials that are directly uh, related to Dr. Montessori's method. And so um, the resources that make it, make it possible to have this program are significant. We, we make a significant commitment to those materials, to our teacher training, and to the financial aid that allows more families to be there. So um, it actually moves me emotionally when I uh, think about the, this program and what it is making possible for us here at Greentown and for the families that have benefited from it. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful way to share, uh, to, to share and share alike with as many people as, as we can. Um, so thank you for learning more about it and seeing if it's a good match for you. Thank you, Sarah. So what does this all mean? If you're thinking, how do I get involved? Um, Greentown is really blessed to have 
wonderful parent support in so many ways um, and um, receives donations through our annual funds or our auction. But EITC and OSTC is a way where you can take tax dollars you're already paying as a resident of Pennsylvania, if you're a business owner, um, you're a business owner authorized to do business in the state of Pennsylvania, and you're subject to one or more of a list of taxes, personal income tax, corporate net income tax, bank shares tax, malt beverage tax. We have a list. We'll be providing these resources for you. You're an authorized PA business and you pay tax. You can actually direct that tax liability to Greentown and have it benefit financially to Greentown. The way that works, if you're a first time applicant, you will go to a single um, authorization website where you will apply as a business and you will do so on July 1st of any given year. Not before, not after, it's gotta be July 1st. And you'll log in, you'll set up an account and you'll complete an application. And if you become um, approved through this application, you'll receive a letter from the state, from the Department of Community and Economic Development, and they'll say, congratulations, you're approved. And you will have then credits that you can then make a donation to a school like Greentown. Greentown will then give you a receipt that will say, thank you so much for doing this and participating in this program. You'll give that proof back to the state of Pennsylvania, showing that you made a contribution and you'll receive a tax credit. If you're a business that makes a one-year commitment to doing this, you'll receive a 75% tax credit for your donation. That means say you made a $10,000 contribution to Greentown because you have at least $10,000 in business tax liability for any given year. $7,500 of that will be a tax credit for you. The remainder would be a charitable contribution. Natalie, I'm giving some of the nuts and bolts here, but I'm sure you can add some color um, in terms of your experience as a business owner, what that means for you. We're really talking about cash flow, aren't we? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, it's, uh, a, we do our tax planning right at last year's, based on last year's taxes and uh, assuming what we're going to owe in the following year. And so when we make a two-year commitment, we work closely with our accountant to make sure that we have a good sense of what our tax liability will be for the upcoming years and that we make that commitment. And usually my thought is to maximize as much as we possibly can and hope, you know, hope for the best. So we've done, uh, we do two year commitments, which allows us to use a deduction. I think it's 90% of the amount. We, right. Yeah, 90% that we are able to deduct from our taxes. So for the last, you know, we've done two cycles and both of the cycles we've been able to, we've been able to cover almost the entire tax liability of the business and just writing a check directly to Greentown, which is always really uh, impactful. And since those taxes can be a large check, right? So we're able to make a really, really large donation to the school without it affecting, you know, without a, a personal financial impact. And so then it's just a, a cash flow conversation. And we just now, because we know when it's coming up, we budget for it ahead of time and we're able to write the check. So the first year you did this, Natalie, um, did you get approved right away or was it something where you had to try again the next year and wait and see if you, you were approved? We were approved the very first year we tried, uh, but we jumped on, Bonnie, I don't remember. I, I, think, I think kind of the way it worked was you had reached out maybe to the state ahead of time and we knew exactly how to, how to fill it out. The tricky part for us has always been to remember to, you have to apply, even if you get approved for two years, you have to apply that second time around. That's right. But, but at this point, we have a great contact over at the state, and I've been able to go back and forth directly when we forgot to apply one year for our second year, and they've cleared it up pretty quickly. So they're, they're just wonderful people over there who I think really care about the program as well and are committed to making sure that we can get our money to the schools. Alberta, you helped us broker that relationship and how to really get into EITC and the opportunities for Greentown. Um, and participation through your business. Can you share a little bit more about that? Um, I agree with Natalie. I think the state has been absolutely wonderful in this process. When we first uh, decided to apply for EITC, we were warned by other entities that it was gonna be very difficult. 
to get into the program. And um, we went ahead and applied. Uh, we made contact with a few people in the state and we were approved immediately as well. Um, we've been participating. This is actually my third cycle in EITC. And um, one time I forgot to apply for the second year and the state actually contacted me and uh, reminded me to that I needed to reapply by May. Um, and I was able to reapply and my money was credited. One of the things that I like about the program also is logistically, as a business, you have to pay quarterly estimates towards um, PA taxes. And I think it's actually easier <laughs> to make a one-time donation without having to worry about every quarter, making sure that I'm making timely uh, estimate, estimated payments. So logistically, that actually works a little bit better for me and my business. Um, but it's it's been an easy process. I mean, at the end of it, Bonnie gets a letter back to us as soon as the donation is made. Um, we can forward that letter by email to the state. And I also generally will mail a hard copy to the state. Uh, they set aside the credit immediately. And then at the time when I'm filing my taxes in the spring, I give a copy of the letter to my accountant. Uh, she files my taxes. She does an e-file. And then a few um, months later, I find out that, you know, it's been credited and it, um, and it works very well. So to recap for folks, if you're a first time uh, business thinking about applying for EITC credits, you would apply on July 1. And then subsequently, if you're going to be renewing, like right each year, you both mentioned about that renewal process, that's on May 15th. So your first cycle is July 1. And then if you're approved and you make your contribution, subsequently each May 15th, you're gonna be reapplying uh, basically for the next cycle. And the way it works in terms of your tax year, your tax credit applies for the tax year in which you make the contribution. So if you made a contribution today, you know, on February 8th, it would be for this 2021 tax year. So when you go to file your business taxes next year, it's going to be for your 2021 taxes. Uh, we have detailed resources for folks about all of these steps, and certainly we're all available personally um, to share more. But basically, as a business, apply, get approved, make your gift, receive confirmation from Greentown, and then claim that credit. You'll be having 75% um, if you're making a one-year commitment and 90% tax credit for two. And the one last piece I'll say is once you receive approval from the state, um, you have 60 days to make your contribution to the school. And as Alberta says, we immediately generate um, confirmation for you. We send it to you electronically and hard copy so that you have everything that you need. It really is that, that simple. It, it seems um, maybe too good to be true, but it's, it's a very straightforward process. Um, the wonderful thing about EITC now is that it's not just open for businesses. Started that way, but now individuals can participate too. Um, Scott and Tracy, um, both of your families have made, as you shared, the, the wonderful decision to participate in EITC as individuals. It looks a little, little different, right, as an individual about how you gain access to this program. Um, Scott, maybe you can share a little bit about um, joining a special purpose entity, which is the way an individual um, gets to make a contribution to EITC. Sure, Bonnie. So um, a special purpose entity is otherwise known as a pass-through entity. It's basically a collection. The sole purpose of an SPE is to apply for tax credits and then um, uh, make donations and then uh, pass through those tax credits. That's the sole purpose for a special purpose entity, which is a, a, a Pennsylvania entity registered as a limited liability corporation and the shareholders are the donors who participate. So um, it's a very simple process. Uh, as an individual donor, you don't work with the state at all. Um, the, the special purpose entity applies for the uh, tax credits just like uh, Alberta's business did and Natalie's business did. Uh, and they apply on the same cycle. It's uh, for uh, new um, 
entrants, it's it's uh, July. If they're already approved, either seeking their second year extension, I mean their second year um, uh, commitment for a two year commitment or a, a new two year commitment, they're 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 doing their application in May. Uh, when they get approved, they then send out letters to their um, shareholders, which would be yourself if you uh, join the SPE, um, that they were approved. And um, the rules um, as far as uh, when you have to make your donation and how you make your donation, um, minimum requirements for donations as far as amounts and maximum, there, it's a little bit different because the SPE will um, organize and set up their own rules on how they, uh, they, 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 they run their own SPE. So it, it will be a little different from SPE to SPE. However, in the end, um, it's the same tax credit uh, as the businesses. If you make a one-year commitment, you're getting a 75% tax credit. If you make a two-year commitment, you uh, get a 90% tax credit. So for, for me, uh, I um, had, I've worked with four different SPEs actually now, and it's all been pretty painless and um, each one has been pretty much the same. Um, they contact, uh, I contacted them and told them I wanted to participate. They sent me a, a, a joinder agreement, which is basically an agreement that says, I'm going to join the SPE. I'm going to donate an X amount of dollars. Uh, and then it's either for a one year or two year commitment. Again, that corresponds to what your uh, tax credit uh, dollar, a percent amount will be. Uh, and then I, I turn that in. After I turn that in, I now wait until I get a letter back from the SPE and they say, you know what? Uh, our application was approved from the state. Um, so can you please remit your um your donation, your your, uh, your contribution. That contribution goes right to the SPE, but then the SPE turns around and makes a dollar for dollar donation to the institution that I choose. So I wrote the check to the SPE, the SPE then uh, wrote the check back to uh, Greentown because that's where I had designated my uh, contribution um, go to. And then later on in the year, uh, I did a, a form called a K-1 form from the SPE. And that K-1 form is basically my record that I donated, that I participated in the SPE, and that all the funds that I had given to the SPE were then donated. And it explains the tax credit uh, amount also. So um, it, it's pretty easy. I, I made a commitment to donate. I waited until the SPE got a approval from the state that their application was approved. I made the donation to the SPE. The SPE then donated the money to um, Greentown. And then later I got a K-1, which I filed with my taxes and received my credit. So um, in, it's simply apply, donate, and claim is really that simple. Thank you so much, Scott. Tracy. Were there things that you wondered about before doing this that you know are common questions that maybe others may be feeling the same kind of, hmm, how do I make this work? Is there any other insight you'd like to share as an individual donor to EITC? Um, thanks, Bonnie. And, and I think this group, I mean, I now know how if I have a business to do this, Scott just informed me more about the process. Um, I would say I'm, I'm the least educated of, of this team on here. But with that said, so, you know, I'm a lawyer. And so the joinder agreement was, um, I, you know, I was concerned about that. I didn't completely understand what I was signing or for what. But when I looked at it, it's exactly as Scott said. It was it was simple. Um, and it was just, you know, sign it to say that you're a part of this group and that your money's going to flow through. Um, I would say, again, just figuring out the logistics that first time around. So it's a, it's just as Natalie said, it's a cash flow. So we just had to write a check by December 31st. Um, and then we'd get the refund when we get our normal tax refund. So it was just it's just more moving things um, and, and paying them up front earlier. And, you know, if you're able to do it, it's a great way to essentially make, you know, 10 times the impact on your dollars, which which was phenomenal. And we wanted to sort of give to the school anyway, but then we thought we could supercharge it. Um, 
But again, after getting over that initial hurdle and just understanding how it all works, and we've been a part of three different SPEs as well, um, bounced around a bit, but it's it's all been fine um, and, and not a big deal. We just have to remember to sign that joinder and send in that check every December. So much, and you're right, Greentown has um, various connections with organizations that have many SPEs with credits approved. And so as a school, we can help kind of connect you where there's possibilities if you wanna participate. We're going to be sharing along with this um, recording links to what a joinder agreement looks like and the step by step so that if folks think about this and want to learn more, we'll have all the resources. And of course, we're all here to help you. So we're a phone call or an email away. The, the remarkable thing about EITC, as you've all said, is really the exponential nature of it, right? Like you're able to really take the desire to, to make a gift and have it go even further with tax dollars you're already paying. Um, and basically with little out of pocket once you have your tax credit applied. Other ways that um, folks can learn more, certainly we're going to be sharing this video, we're going to be sharing some FAQ documents, the link to the business application form, the link to the joinder agreements, um, and as I said, phone calls, emails to any of us. Um, James O'Donnell is the executive director of the PADCED that we referenced in the beginning. That's the Department of Community and Economic Development. Um, they are a great resource. They have a wonderful website. So you're gonna to go to dced.pa.gov. Um, if you put EITC into their search engine, that will bring up, um, instead of me giving you a long URL, you can go right to where you need to be. And then we've also referenced OSTC. And so I want to be clear to share what that is. Uh, we often lump these two things together. Um, Greentown um, is qualified to receive both gifts, um, both types. OSTC is essentially the same. Um, so the state puts together a list um, every year and um, you can query that list. Um, your donation will not just support through this program, will not just support financial aid, but it'll support a student who's living in really a, a very underserved public school district environment. Um, so every family that's being supported in EITC is a family that has financial need, but in OSTC, there's an added component that they're also residing in a um, underperforming school district. We can share a lot more about that um, and, and answer any questions, but know that your gift through either program makes a tremendous difference and giving access for students um, to be able to come to Greentown. And um, that that is a moving, moving experience as a, as a school administrator to know that um, your desire to help um, and to make a difference is a beautiful thing and knowing how it impacts students and seeing that we can actually have more students come to our school and, and have this great Montessori education um, because of your support is, is amazing. Sarah, do you have other thoughts to share? Um, I, I guess I'm just thinking that, uh, you know, anytime you make a charitable contribution, um, you're going above and beyond to um, support important organizations. And um, this is such a, a wonderful way to, to give, your, give your most and your best to, uh, to Greentown and to organizations that really want to do more. They just need, you know, some extra help to do so. And uh, I, I am uh, very inspired to think of the, the uh, extra reach that we can have through this kind of support and, and the dedication and commitment from all of you and, and others who have supported these programs. I think it's a, a, an excellent vehicle to help us all do more. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natalie and Alberta and Tracy and Scott for sharing about your experiences. Um, as I shared, we're going to be um, putting together links and resources along with this. So please reach out to any of us to learn more. Again, I'm Bonnie Clark, Director of Development. You can reach me at bclark 
at gtms.org. And I will have Scott and Natalie and Tracy and Alberta's email addresses attached as well. Um, you can reference our website, gtms.org, and click on support us. We also have many um, resource documents there as well. Um, so this has uh, been a great chance to share a little bit. Um, and please know that we're here to help you um, navigate the process, which really is, as Scott said, apply, be approved, donate, and then claim your tax credit. Thank you all. I want to also thank Nicole Leapart for supporting us in this conversation, our Director of Communications. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day. And thank you for your support of thank Greentown. You. Thank, thank you. you very much.